Hello everyone, this is Janet Uribe and I am in St. James's Park in London with the one and only Tony J. Salimi. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? I'm very good, how are you? I'm good, it's so beautiful here in London today. Well, we are at St. James's Park, one of my favorite parks. Yes. And for the last 20 years I've been coming here not only to write my books, not only to do coaching and consulting with clients in nature, but also to do picnics, socialize and really connect with nature. Yeah. And one of the things that uh, for the last 10 days oh my we've gosh. been working with you is really connecting the dots of your life yeah. and to help you um, really see what's possible for you because as a business owner, as a mother and as an educator for children, uh, you came here with a bit of confusion of oh what's possible gosh. for you. Yes. And let's start where we started. Yes. And uh, what were your expectations before you signed up to this exclusive one-to-one -one vital planning for elevated living program? Yeah. And the fears and the things that was going on in your head. And then how the dots started to come together and how your vision expanded. Okay. Your mental abilities. Okay. Your health. Yes. Stuff and whatever you really um, experience in that uh, our Facebook and the community out there in the world can really um, benefit from. Yes. Okay. This is a very that's a very loaded question. So you're gonna have to prompt me again if I'm not hitting one of your questions. But I'm I've improved my memory capacity. It was, hey, yes, it so, was a memory test. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Okay. First of all. Those of you who know me know that I'm very squirrely. I would think that most of you would label me as someone with ADHD. However, I had all of these expectations of coming here and thinking, okay, well, maybe he'll give me a business plan and maybe he'll change my life. Oh, what if he changes my life so much that I lose all of my friends and loved ones and I don't, I don't like the business plan that he gives me. And, you know, and I was coming from all these control-based fears, right? I came in very, yeah. let me control my life. Um, and I thought, well, we'll see. And the first day, was, and actually the first two days, were very painful and beautiful, both at the same time, because you kept feeding me <laughs> questions. Guys, this is like an heiress. This is the philosopher of the philosophers in 2021, and he's 20, 30 years out of his time. He kept asking me questions that really made me address, who are you? Why are you doing this? And why? And why this? And why that? And the, the, by the time we kept going further into the why does this drive you? Why do you make that choice? I started to really see, holy cow, it's not even about me, it's about everyone around me. I'm still pleasing my parents and I'm th almost 37 years old. <laughs> but what's interesting is what Janet is mentioning, something that all of us globally, uh, we have difficulties to answer the question why. And usually we come up with a very shallow answer until you have somebody who really drills in you and can actually go through your psychology yes. and through the answers to that depth that really brings you to your core why yeah yeah so and let's so can i go in there yes so something that's really fascinating is that he was explaining to me you know you're holding on to these components of your life you've come to me because you want the new life but the old life has all of this old psychology and you cannot bring all of that baggage to the new life because new life requires new psychology and here's what I learned. If I have ADHD or whatever, it doesn't matter. I was so intrigued by everything that he was saying and, and, and so just mind blown. And there's so many thought provoking comments and scenarios and quotes that he has in all of his books that I could not even sit in the old life anymore. For me, there was no other way to go but to the new life. And that being the case, he really started to uncover actions that I take in my daily life that reflects my values. And you know, even from how I, I, I'm so grateful for sleeping in my bed every day, I had no idea why the bed was the first thing that I was super grateful. I just thought maybe in another life I was homeless. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> no, the bed means everything to me in terms of energizing myself to be a better mother, to be a better human, to be a better business owner, to be a better teacher, and many other pieces the next day. And I wasn't able to see that until he was giving me the transparency of it. And then the further we went into these questions, then the more alignment I got of what my life's purpose is. And guys, some of us show up at these nine to fives or go into our work that we originally had inspiration and passion for and then forget why we even do it. Oh, well now it just serves a paycheck and this is why we do it because I have to make these ends meet. I have to feed my children. And sure, those are 
things that we, we, we need to take care of in general to live our lives, but we lose the purpose, we lose the meaning, we lose what our calling is. And so I would say the first two days were dedicated to recognizing what my calling is on this earth. And I was contemplating leaving my current job and realized, oh my gosh, no. This, There's so much potential this, in there. I'm really great at what I do. I, I need to just grow my capacity here. I need to see what my limit is or not, not is not really, no limits. And that is a crucial point because one of the things I consistently notice when I work cli with clients one-to-one, -one, most of them try to give up yeah on uh something they're extremely good at because they are bored yes or because they don't know how to grow it or because they don't know how to really reach a bigger community mm -hmm. and actually bottom line if you're in business you need to make money you need to make profits yes and most people only survive with their businesses especially now during COVID, a lot of people actually have gone bankrupt and you know my business has grown 10 times throughout COVID. so i've had clients from all over the world reaching out for virtual consultations. Yes. Now, before I would spend most of the time traveling and doing this one-to-one -one retreat, uh, vital planning. And now, all of that time, I've had the opportunity to do more TV interviews, mm -hmm. more online Zoom meetings, uh, more uh, private consultations from clients that normally wouldn't be able to come to London. So for them to, just to come to London for one session would have cost a lot of money. Yes. And now they've been doing that virtually. But one of the consistent problems, as I see, is the chaos in people's minds. Oh my God. And when you are uh, in this chaotic mind, and if your mind is not organized, your entire life is not going to be organized. Your business is not going to be organized. Your family life is not going to be organized. Your physical health is not going to be organized. Your emo emotional well-being will be going sporadic up and down. And this is where I see the chaos. The first thing when I work with clients, I start really to identify those things. And I'm following the uh, 25 principles of the method that became the foundation of my work and it's been growing because I've been consistently uh, integrating a lot of the work that I've learned from so many amazing people out there. And then as an engineer, as a scientist, I wanted the most effective and efficient way to actually create a plan for the life you want and for the uh, dreams that you want to bring about into your life. And vital planning for elevated living, there's a reason why I put there elevated because as you have seen over the last 10 days, every day, you start to elevate yourself. And pretty much uh, that elevation is driven by what? Do you remember? Well, your calling. Yes, and your calling is driven by what? Who you, who you really are, your light, your connection. Yes, and by what? Which is the value, the highest value that all of us are being called to do ah. that. Ah, listen to this. But most people don't recognize it, by the way. Only through uh, like profound questioning that I do, yeah. I bring them to this realization and when you get there you stop making excuses or blaming others for you not reaching your full potential we're here to self-actualize my friends yes and the value of self-actualization while most people um, uh, I think connect that with spirituality. Mm -hmm. In actual fact, self-actualization is across all of your areas yes. of life. So you might want to self-actualize uh, being a great mother, great, being a great father, or maybe an artist, musician, or uh, you know, business owner, or innovator, or a creative person, or uh, you might want to self-actualize spiritually. So. When I put the method together, those 25 principles, uh, do you remember what laws I integrated? Oh my gosh. Just some of the laws in the 25. Laws. Yeah. So the law of attraction. Guys, I've heard so many things about the law of attraction and Tony integrated it so scientifically for me with also love yes. that it just jacked everything up. It just, it just human, I call you the human programmer. <laughs> <laughs> he just completely reprogrammed the program because law of attraction, yes, there are miracles, there are things, there are the unexplainable that can happen, but the inspired steps that you take, so the law of yes. inspirational steps or inspirational action steps or action, um, the law of many to one, that was probably the biggest one for me. Yes, the I one mean, to many, uh... one, many to one. You know, I work this job that I do in education because it serves many, because I know those many will also serve me. So I had kind of lost sight of that. I knew it when I first went into this field and lost sight of it. But that's just a few of the laws. There's so many more. The law of correspondence. Yes, law of correspondence. The law of oneness. And in, in hashtag loneliness, specifically, I talk about duality. Yes. 
and then uh, those are the actually those laws a lot of the people from even going back into the uh, uh, ancient Egypt the school of wisdom mm -hmm. they actually had something called uh, hermetic laws so those are actually not something that happened in the last 2000 years mm -hmm. but actually those teachings go all the way back but they were they were, didn't have the scientific components to match up what we know now today. So uh, basically what, what I wanted to do is really uh, bring two worlds together because uh, most people find it very um, intangible to understand their spirituality. And then people who are in the spiritual world find it very difficult to understand science. Yes. So I wanted to bring the spirit and matter to work together as one. Why? Because the body is in your spirit and spirit is in your body. And as I mentioned before, it's like when you really start to question life and this zest for life, I've had it since I was a kid. And therefore consistently I've been learning, consistently I invest in the personal spiritual business development. Why? Because everything I'm learning and I'm mastering, I start to teach it. Yeah. And this gave birth to some unique methodologies that uh, as an engineer, I always wanted to find the most effective, efficient way to get what my clients want, but also to guide them away from a problematic situation, oh from chaotic gosh. mind into a more organized and effective way of living and leading your own life. Yes. And those of you who know me know the chaos that exists in certain components of my life. You might be super organized in a lot of areas of your life, or maybe just one area of your life. But I promise you there are areas that you are missing for opportunity to make you the most efficient person that you can be, that's inspired to be that way, that has a purpose in your life, and you're leaving that legacy for you know your employees, your children, and, and, and so on, and it doesn't really end. But my favorite experience of all of this is almost like watching him as an engineer unplug <laughs> certain plugs that I had, even some pl plugs that I was like, no, don't take it. I'm not Hold listening. on to it. <laughs> and he was, he didn't, nope, taking yeah. it out. Now here's your new one. And so it's fascinating to see how each day, and you even noticed it, each day that I left his home after working, I had a new upgraded psychology. And of course it takes a little bit of time, but you know, I went to therapy on and off for years. I've experienced many other um, teachings and this was 30 years and 10 days. And so if you're looking, right, yeah, 30 years and 10 days, it's that simple, guys. If you're having trouble with any of your children in any capacity of their life, imagine, imagine yourself having to save yourself months, years <laughs> of difficulty of not understanding and not working collaboratively with them to give them the best life that they could possibly need or want. And so 10 days. That's 10 days. It. And imagine like, I mean, how this work and the methods um, uh, will improve society. Uh, yeah. like government, society, leadership, business, yes. uh, uh, our cultural embracement of one another and how collaborative we can be and how, do you remember, uh, we also came up with my institute name, which oh, was... Oh yeah, the Institute of Human Evolution. The Institute of oh, Human and then Evolution. I, and then I don't know if I want to call you Neo or if I want to call you Morpheus. Well, maybe, it's, maybe uh, both. both. Maybe yeah, both, yeah. Because he, he works like Neo but he also is the one in charge for giving you the red pill or the blue pill. So you yeah. decide which pill do you want. Yeah, guys, so, because you better be ready for the roller coaster if you choose. And one thing <laughs> I say to clients is be very cautious of the kind of wishes you ask me because um, committing to this work, especially normally my clients do four days, uh, four vital planets a year, which is 40 days intensive work one to one with you. And of course I do this with groups, I do this with families, when uh, uh, families want me to work with them and their children, or they bring me into their business. But the, uh, just the psychology behind commitment mm -hmm. and committing both the finances, the energy, and uh, I would say the focus on your dream. Yeah. And doing that consistently, it's what really uh, created the massive, massive transformation I've experienced in my life over the years and going from homeless to last year being selected and elected as the um, most visionary uh, yeah. personal development guy in London yeah. for small businesses. And that's in London. I think it's internet. I think it's worldwide. I don't Yes, yeah. that is in London. Worldwide, uh, worldwide we've, uh, we've received quite a lot with the uh, projects that I've done with my clients, yes. uh, with Living My Illusion. Yeah. We mm -hmm. uh, took almost 17 global awards with uh, 
uh, the uh, documentary which we created about midlife crisis. Yes. And then equally, I've received so many awards with Path to Wisdom, which consistently, almost every year, becomes a bestseller. Yes. And then hashtag loneliness, especially we've seen increase of sales during the um, um, COVID, because there are so many people out there who are lonely. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, it's loneliness is also a taboo subject. And I guess with technology nowadays, throughout COVID, we've been able to share things about loneliness. And uh, there's been massive, massive, um, I would say, challenge and uh, uncertainty that came into our lives as a result of COVID because every uh, sphere of our reality changed. Yeah. And I, you know, guys, I used to be incredibly social beforehand. And I was, I was in this engagement, that engagement, very chaotic in all areas of my life, not really very centered. Meanwhile, this man's a mad scientist and centered at all times. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I experienced that loneliness that, that's mentioned at various times in my life. And during COVID, we can all relate to that. However, what are you doing with it? I think that's, that's the yes. thing. What are you choosing to do with it? For me, I really chose to get centered and really evaluate and objectively look at my life and recognize no. This is not a good way of living. There shouldn't be anxiety. You shouldn't wake up and have anxiety every day. You shouldn't wake up and think, oh, now I have to do this. Now I have to do that. Children, guys, if most of you have seen children, they wake up and they just do. Yes, they, they do just do. create. They're just ready and they're ready to understand and explore. And there's, the, there's that element of life that I, I had lost that I used to love so much. And Tony, you've really helped me reconnect with that. So thank you. Mo. You're welcome. Thank you. Because I'm... I, we're here to play yes. and we're here to create we're here to love there's so many things that that we really can do for each other and, and he really helped me connect with that again and so me having that new inspiration and that new knowing of self and learning so many things that will only be of benefit to me this is the elixir of life elixir of life <laughs> uh, I think uh, somebody on TV in one of the TV interviews called me that oh yeah he said Tony it's like you are the elixir of life <laughs> so in one of my media packs, that word is embedded in there. But um, who do you think would benefit both from the method, vital planning, and the yearly coaching programs that I oh have? Oh my gosh. Well, truly, I don't really think that there's a limit. If you are someone who is looking to invest in yourself and your growth, and you want the expert, you don't want to waste your time on doctors and therapists and this piece and that piece and medicine and you know even my health has improved in this man's with this man's work um i know that he's worked with cancer patients i've never yeah so think about how the emotional turmoil that we experience within ourselves is lived out in our external reality in our physical body so if you are any of these individuals who's ready to really make the change transform the being and upgrade your psychology experience organization in your life and you're willing to actually invest in yourself i want you to ask yourself how priceless would that be how priceless you know i, I want my children to do this because my children to me are priceless there's no m amount of money that I, I i could cap my child's worth or their fulfilled life that and so truthfully this man can work in any industry um i started there are this is funny there are moments where he's talking and let me show you my face that i was just making like Like this, this, the, the majority of the time, right? Yeah. Or just this, and I just say, I'm sorry, are you real? <laughs> Is, you, you walk the earth now, present day, and he'd say, yes, yes, yes. And he'd put me back on track because I'm so scattered. <laughs> yes, but, I mean, it's an exclusive idea, program. Yes. It's a VIP program, and it's like um, I have leaders, I have business owners, uh, I have coaches, consultants, yes. authors. Uh, I would say elite members of society yeah. who I work with. something I was with. telling you, right? I yeah. would love to see this man's principles integrated into government. We see so, we see so much hurt and pain, separation in government, you know, and it's Politics. very systemic, yeah. right? It's systemic. We don't just see it there. You know, there are leaders and it trickles down into all of our industries. We create our separations with ourselves that way. We do it with our children. We do it in every industry. I was telling them, oh my gosh, the, uh, you have a TED talk about this, yes. about artificial intelligence. There's there are components of artificial intelligence that, you know, ethically, morally, integrally, we have not been discussing. And this man touches on those topics very well, very exquisitely about the changes that we should already be foreseeing with, you know, he has great foresight. What should we be doing now? 
to address this later. And there's so many components that, of your work that would just revolutionize humanity. And I think that's something that we're all wanting to see right now is we really want, we, we want a fast fix, but really fast fixes come with a little bit of pain sometimes and a little bit of unraveling. But the other side of it is so glorious and so freeing that you want to love your neighbor. But you also, but also, Janet has committed herself to do four vital planets a yes. year. And the next one, um, we can announce a little uh, news in here. Oh, good. Uh, good. So by the end of those 10 days, what transpired is actually a great collaboration. Yes. Because we both have um, this vision and mission and calling in our heart uh, to help children. Yeah. Uh, and I've been ambassador of Children in Excellence and uh, how to integrate the method with your wisdom, bringing it together in a unique course, which basically will tackle a lot of the issues um, uh, young parents have with their children. And uh, it will be designed in a way, it will be from zero to two years old. Yeah. And then from two to three, then three to four, uh, um, four to five, five to six, uh, six to seven, yes. seven to eight, and then going into higher education. Yeah. And uh, from the moment I started this work, I had the vision how the method and the principles can be turned into courses uh, that people can learn uh, in their own stuff. And as I got to know you better, and as I got to know all the things that you actually brushed off that you... That like, I know or that, that I, I do, know. yeah. And this is why I see a lot. I see a lot of clients when they start working with me, how they brush off this incredible wisdom and experience that they have that can be turned into a, a learning for everybody out there who does not have that knowledge. So uh, this transpired as a result for the next vital planning, which you'll be doing in, in the summer. To literally co-create a unique course, we'll start with a zero to two, and can you imagine what a child will be able to do with... Um, so we said a few things we're going to integrate yes. in there. Let's give them three. We're not going to give you all of that, but three. So number one. So something... That, um, I'm going to use this as a personal example. Yes. Something that I struggle with as an adult is living in polarized emotions. And so living in these, these states of significant... I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel here. And I feel, and I feel, and I feel, I feel here and just fluctuating fluctuating yes fluctuating and so as we were collaborating i told him tony it's it's so easy children understand opposites yes they understand they understand it they understand black and white they understand night and day why aren't we integrating your components i even told him why are we not teaching this to children yes. how does your knowledge exist out there and we're not sharing what it means to experience these polarized states with the baby so that they can really integrate it with their developmental or cognitive ability over time and use it for themselves as opposed to you know i was li i was living in the victimized state Always. and turn them into geniuses yes because basically in every country around the world especially in the english-speaking countries and in countries who don't speak english yes. a lot of the parents want their children to learn english but also they want to um, um, enhance the skills yes. of a baby from a very young age and Guys, uh, one of the things when I wrote A Path to Wisdom, I wrote it as a, a manual for humanity. Yeah. I wrote it as a manual for every person out there to be able to go through the principles over and over and over again. Just the inspiration came to me because from, seven, from the age of seven, I used to repair TVs, radios, anything that was electronic. And back then, we didn't have internet, we didn't have Google, we didn't have anything. <laughs> and uh, you had to have those thick, manuals, how-to manuals, and they would come in four languages. And sometimes I would have to work with a dictionary to translate. So the idea to create books actually uh, uh, started when I was seven. And I wanted to create that manual for humans, but also I wanted to create a manual for parents. So no parent out there came into this world with a manual how to raise their children. And I guess I always said people who do this work and uh, do my work and learn the methods, they will be also inspired how to bring those methods into parenting, into children, into schools, into education, higher schools, business, into leadership, and in society. Because basically, uh, with COVID, we've seen an increase in suicide, we've, uh, we've seen an increase in unemployment that's gonna be out there, a lot of people are uncertain, and I believe we'll have a serious mental health uh, trail, yeah. cosmic trail that COVID will leave. And also the amount of fears and transformation that happened in just one year. We haven't grown 
uh, almost for the last 10 years, as far as we've grown yeah, in one gosh, year, yeah. to try to tackle this global pandemic that almost like closed the borders. And this is what, one of the things that I've embedded in the vital planning and in all the consultation is looking at the microscopic level at you, at your mind, at your emotions, at your reality, and see how that uh, uh, affects the macroscopic life you have. Similarly, uh, a virus, such a microscopic virus, one virus created those macroscopic events that brought the world on their knees. In a similar matter, one thought, one thing you say to yourself can do the same for you in your business. Yes. This is why I find it extremely rewarding to work with clients who are ready for this accelerated growth and whatever you want to, yeah. you know. Well, honestly, everything you're talking about, similarly, I wish for you at seven. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what our age difference is, at least 20 years or something. But I wished for this at seven when I was walking and existing on earth as a little kid thinking some of these adults might be a little confused because what they did didn't just feel good in my heart. Yes. Right. And so when I look at you talking about macro and micro, my background being education, diverse education, um, cultural education. Similarly, what could this work create for microculture and macroculture? If we're honoring all of these laws as well, yes. you know, the, the law of correspondence, the law of one to many, yeah. many to one. Are we honoring each other by yeah. honoring ourselves and considering that that integral honoring is also honoring others? And so there's so many components that I look at, at this work being integrated for children, what type of cognitive being it would be, what type of balanced be, being, what kind of human being needs to be balanced. All of us, I think, you know, I can speak to America. We talk about, oh, well, we don't integrate finances or basic finances and, yes. and bring awareness to our children of how to do this. It's not even just about the how-to, guys. It is the whys. It is the what is this showing you? Why are you acting this way? What, what, what stemmed in your life to make you cause this financial decision or this spend? I mean, it, it's, it's psychology meets practical in, uh, integration and in science, spiritual, all in one. And what I love is that your teachings also integrate so much that we've been seeing in books, even in religion and in components. Components uh, of across, uh, the, yes, across, across the, way. the board. But yes. this is much more holistic and loving. There's no judgment. It's very embracing and it has collective good, collective purpose, collective intention. Your yes. Work. Yeah. So all the way from St. James's Park here in London. I would like to thank you and also thank you. Oh gosh, thank and you. Thank our gorgeous Tammy Demirza oh, who Tammy. basically put us in touch. And uh, it's because uh, Janet did some work with um, Tammy that she also felt inspired to do the same work because she saw these incredible fast yeah. results <laughs> that I helped Tammy create in just less than two years. Uh, I built her business uh, to unimaginable ways oh my gosh. for her. Uh, that now she travels the world, uh, does intuitive work with some incredible people out there as well. So uh, my desire is and my calling is to really um, uh, help as many leaders, as many business owners, as many teachers, as many coaches, authors, professionals, royals, uh, celebrities out there to be inspiration for humanity. So together, collectively, we can actually direct the evolution of human consciousness. It's beautiful, friend. I do see this man's work integrating into humankind, you know, for generations to come. I, I look at, I was looking at components of your work saying, oh my gosh, this is like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but for 2021. Yes. Yeah. For and, 2020, and beyond. And beyond. So we love you and thank you. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.